I'm already on too hard. All right, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hope they got all the technology together. Give it a couple seconds, get everybody in here. All right, so I'm going to do this real quick live to give you guys some clarification on the lace melty mousse um, that we originally launched like a, like a week ago. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Shamika Jackson. I am the owner and founder of Kathune and Mora Hair, and I help provide lace wig insulation and maintenance products for individuals who are wearing lace wigs. So um, if you are new to my group, to the Facebook group, or to the community, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love to see where you guys are coming from. If you've been here already before, you can drop them hearts, those purple hearts. Let me know that you've already been here before. And if you, I haven't met you already, just let me know where you're coming from. Um, let me know what city you repping, what area you repping, so I can see, hopefully I can see all the um, information on here. Because you know me and technology, we ain't always working out all the time, but we're going to work out today. So if you let, drop where you're coming from so I can walk you, you to the group and to the community. And this is real quick live that I'm going to share with you guys how to use the... Um, Lace melt and mousse um, that we currently have on the site. I said I was going to do a quick question and answer for anybody who has any sort of questions, and hopefully I can address all the questions if you're not here. If you're here watching the replay, hashtag replay, and let me know that you're here on the replay. It's been um, a minute. Um, I've been kind of quiet um, a little bit lately, but I'm back. So I'm going to go through some quick um, examples of the colors on this lace tent. And then I'm also going to do a quick difference on what's the difference between using this lace melty mousse versus if you was to use a regular lace tint, okay? Um, which is uh, two different products. I didn't bring the lace tint in front of me, but we all know what it is. If you don't know what lace tint is, lace tint, the spray, is normally a product that you use to tint your lace. And a lot of times to get the most natural look on your lace wigs, you need to tint the lace if it doesn't match your natural complexion. Now, one of the terminologies that you might see and you might hear throughout the lace wig community is transparent lace and HD lace. Transparent lace is not the type of lace. Transparent lace is actually the color. So you can have transparent color on any sort of lace wigs um, that you may purchase. So when you hear somebody says, oh, I have transparent lace, they're stating that they more than likely, I'm not going to you know, comment on every company, but I will can say for most it was probably means that they're saying that they had a Swiss lace, which is the type of material of the lace itself, and that the transparent portion is the color of the lace, which means it's going to be like a white sort of color, you know, um, and it doesn't have any color to the lace. They may say, I have a light brown Swiss lace, medium brown Swiss lace, dark brown Swiss lace. If they say transparent, that means there's no color on that lace, and therefore you're going to need to tint it that's when you're going to buy the lace tint, okay? What is lace tint? Lace tint is going to change the color of your lace. It's something that's temporary. It's something that can um, last a full install, but it may need to, um, may, you may need to touch it up. So that's why you have the lace tint. And then that's where the lace uh, melting mousse that we have here, that's where um, this product is going to come into play with your lace wig journey. So hopefully if I have, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop them in the comments. I would love to answer any of y'all questions as we go through. Like I said, um, we're going to just do a real quick live on the lace melt and mousse that is currently on the site. So I feel free, drop y'all questions, even if it's not about lace tent or anything like that, lace wig, lace wig journey or anything or any concerns that you guys have, just drop your um, questions so that I can help you try to navigate for some of those answers, all right? And um, Shayla, is the spray waterproof? You're talking about the lace melting spray? Or are you talking about the 
I'm assuming you're talking about the lace melting spray. The lace melting spray is not waterproof. If you want a waterproof hold, then you would combine that product. Um, you would combine that product with a um, lace wig adhesive. And I'm going to tell you, I got this new lace wig adhesive that I haven't put out there, but it's really good. So if you want a waterproof hold, you got to go swimming, you got to go to Jamaica, go to Mexico. Um, you're going to need actual a lace wig adhesive because a lace melt and spray is not an adhesive. That's why a lot of people love it because they're taking their wigs off every day and treating their own hair. And um, then they're going to attach it. Uh, hey, Caroline, how are you? For a darker complexion, um, what color you recommend? So color can be subjective. What name me, give me a celebrity that um, is similar to who you're um, referring to. And then I'll be able to tell you exactly what color. When I wear it, it still lifts. I'm still learning with it. Okay, Shayla. So one of the things that you can do, and you sweat a lot. If you sweat a lot, I suggest, if you sweat a lot, that's almost like being like waterproof and you're only something like a little bit stronger. Do you want to take your wig off every day? Or are you looking to take it off how often? You answer that and I can be able to give you a little bit better of an answer. You want to take your wig off every day. If you're looking to wear, tear your wig off every day, but you want a secure fit like this, what I would suggest is you, you combine the spray. Well, first you're going to clean your skin with alcohol, right? So the clean of your skin, it will allow for you to have, um, get rid of any residue or anything that's on your skin. And also on the, you want to make sure the wig is clean, right? After that, you're going to use a skin protector. So we have a guard to the max skin protector, which what you will probably use. We have two different levels of skin protector. So you will use a guard to the max. That's going to act as a barrier that helps with the perspiration that helps with um, the whole time on your unit. And it acts as a barrier between whatever product you use and whatever you, the lace in itself, right? Once you do those two steps for you, if you perspire like you're stating, but you want to take your wig off every day, I suggest that you want to do a tape along with the spray. So what you're going to do is because the tape normally comes off in one piece, it's not as messy as dealing with lace wig adhesives. So you will combine a small piece of tape and then you're going to do the spray and then you're fine. Now, the tape ultimately is waterproof as well, but the difference is it's not going to be as like you know as much to um, take off because you want to wear your wig on a daily basis. So hopefully that was able to answer your question, Carolyn. You said myself. Um, I can't see your full picture. Um, if you're referring to like a um, darker skin woman. Let's think of somebody darker skin. Um, I mean, Naomi Campbell, Gabrielle Union, my color, I would use mocha. If you're referring to someone a little bit darker, um, we have espresso. So I can show you what the colors look like, but you're not going to be able to see it, but so much because it's not actually on the lace. So Shayla, hopefully I'm able to ask your questions, but feel free to, if you have any additional questions, feel free to drop them. There are times when I do, I want to, I, I want to take it off. And sometimes I want to, um, I want to be grown at night. <laughs> I feel you sis. Um, <laughs> um, so if you want, you know, want to be grown at night sometimes, um, I would suggest probably the tape along with it and even if you don't use if even if you use a, a, an adhesive just don't put a lot you know like that's the big deal just don't do a lot um if you just do a couple of a touches let it dry clear and then attach the wig and don't do it like really wide then you're going to still get a good hold but it's not going to give you that two or three week hold or the one or two week hold that normal lace wig wearers will wear because you're trying to like minimize the the, the adhesive and you want to keep the wig on for a snug fit so just use a little bit when you're trying to be grown at night <laughs> and uh, you'll be fine. Just use a little bit. Just use a little bit of lace wig adhesive. If you're worried about your hairline, things like that, just use a little bit and you should be fine. So that should be able to answer your question. Either that or you use a little bit of tape because you're say, stating you perspire a lot. <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, so we're going back. So we've talked about what is um, a lace tent. Why do we use lace tents? 
um, what's the benefits of using lace tent and when do you need it? If you are wearing, um, okay, so good. Shayla, I think you're good, right? All right. So if you are wearing, um, <clears throat> if you already starting off with your wig and say, for example, it's light brown <clears throat> or it's already been tinted, um, then that will be basic. That, that's where you're going to start on when you are going to use the mousse. So, for example, a lot of times as you're wearing the wig, it's going to get worn. You might be wearing it for two, three weeks. And when you get that really great adhesive that's going to last you three weeks and then now your hairline is looking a little bit light, that's when you may touch up with the lace tinted mousse. Now, my suggestion is, number one, it will, like, um, it will uh, not stain your hands, but it does stain your hands. You're just going to wash it off. Once you wash it off with some soap and water, it does come off. But... The way my hand looks like right now, if I was to use it, it will not look like that, okay? Because it will be a little bit of a color on your skin, but it's not permanent. You can wash it off with some soap and water and you're fine. Does the lace, um, the lace mousse tint the hair? It does not tint the hair. It does not um, change the color of the hair. So you're able to use it on um, the hair itself and it's not going to turn a, a medium brown, a light brown. Uh, the darkest brown. So you are able to use it on the baby hairs. Now for me, I don't put this product on the whole wig. So I know sometimes you do like the washing goes and your hair is like all flowing, about to go to the beach. Um, you know, it's not really necessary, number one. And number two, the, the, the price point isn't really something that you want to have it all over. And it does have a tent to it. So really you're using it for your parting areas up here and you're using it for your actual hairline and then like any sort of baby hairs. Another tip that you can do with it is you can actually combine it. I don't know if any of you guys do it, but I feel as though this is like one of the best tips I've ever received or heard and like kind of like fostered, right? Is to actually use the lace mousse, um, the lace melting mousse with a blew me away gel. Because the whole time of the blew me away, that's this one, right? The blew me away, you're able to get a harder like sort of feel on your lace wigs, the lace itself, the baby hairs, and it allows them to stay like harder for a longer period of time. It's not going to, depends. If you want a soft baby hair, then you're going to use it by itself. If you want like a firmer baby hair that's going to keep you for a couple of days, then you can combine it, which is a little bit of the blew me away. All my products go together. So they are all based with each other. They, they're friendly with each other, okay? So you can combine those two to give you a little bit of a harder sort of hold if you want that sort of baby hair or the front hairline to stay, right? Um, that's another tip. Also, the, the mousse doesn't have any alcohol in it. So it's not going to fully interact with you using it with your lace wig adhesives. So a lot of times, I know a lot of you guys are using lace wig adhesives to... Um, as well in your front hairline and you use a product that has alcohol in it therefore it will loosen your install so the lace um the lace melting mousse does not have alcohol in it so therefore it's not going to actually lift your lace wig in it when it comes to that portion of your install i can never get the blue me away to dry clear if you cannot get it to dry clear then you would have to use a smaller amount, like really, really thin um, when you're using it. I can try to use it on my hand. And, and you really don't need that much. This is a really concentrated product. And so when I do it, I don't use much. So like if it's like this big, that's too thick. If you can see that right? Literally, you need it to look like this. Can you see that? And then let it um, dry. You see how it is like that? I don't know if you can see that. If you can see it, let me know. I think you can see it. And when you're installing it, Linda, if he, if she's asking about the Blue Me Away. If you use the Blue Me Away along with the Melt Me Down spray, number one, you're only going to do small sections at a time. So like this right here is too long. You're going to do small sections about an inch wide, spray the spray, and then you're attaching it one inch at a time. 
if you do it too wide, it dries too quickly, and then your install wasn't um, won't be as nice quickly. It's already sticky on my hand. Um, but you're going to do small portions, and you want it to have it thin like this. All right. So going back to the mousse, I'm going to show you what the three colors look like so you guys have an idea of what it looks like. And I have a wig here that more than likely I would not... Um, I might keep it for myself. I don't know. But I'm going to show you guys how to do the lace melt, okay? If you guys are just joining, my name is Shamika. I'm the founder of Cafune Hair. Welcome. If you're here, let me know. If you're watching the one replay, hashtag replay, y'all. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm just going to go over this lace melt real quick, and I'm going to show it on a mannequin real quick, um, how you can do the lace melt mousse. All right. So I just have this little quick wig. Um, that I'm going to show on you guys. All right. So normally when I use it, I'm using it only around the front hairline. And I'm going to use it darn, I um, out of the front hairline and also the um, part, parting areas. Another tip that you can do, you can do this ahead of time. So if you're one of those people who do your, your um, plucking, your baby hairs before you do your install, it's ideal to do it beforehand if you're going to use the lace melt and mousse, um, just so that it's dry and it's finished. So only thing you got to do is attach the wig as you would normally be doing with a regular lace wig. So you can do it while it's on or you can do it after. Ideally, I would suggest to do it beforehand, but if it's not and you're in a rush, you can do it after you've installed your wig. So um, this one is the espresso. So this is going to be the darker color. Um, that I'm going to show you guys. And I'm going to try to see if I can do three sections on this mannequin head for you to see if you can see the difference. I should, probably should have put something underneath of it. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this towel, which is white, underneath here. And then you should be able to see what it would look like. So it can't get any clearer than this. All right, so we're already starting off with a light brown tint on the lace. And I'm gonna show you what each one, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna put um, espresso over here. And then after that, I'm gonna do the light brown and medium brown, um, the caramel and then the other color. So I'm going to show you. Christian, can you go get me a paper towel for me, please? So the first thing you're going to do is shake it up real quick. And then this is what the consistency looks like. This way, right? Y'all can see that, right? Thank you. All right. And then... You would do it like you normally do some baby hairs, right? So like I said, if you want to combine this with a little bit of gel, of uh, the lace gel, just to get a harder hold on your wig, you can combine those two, right? And it's going to give you a stiffer feel for when you're combing those baby hairs back. Now I'm going to do it all over here just so you can see what the lace looks like. And I'm not going to do the front part of the lace, just so that you have an idea of what that front part looks like as well. So I'm putting the tent right here, but not on the bottom piece of the lace. So you'll see what the difference is on the two. Then I'm going to take it off and put it on my hand so you'll see what it looks like on my hand. And then I'm going to let it dry. So we're going to do the brown on this side. Just so you can have an idea of what it looks like for the darker colors. And then I'm going to do the medium brown on the other side. So this side, I'm going to do the, the dark. 
And then right here on the other side, this is a closure wig. I'm going to do the lighter color, right? So when I told you guys it's going to stain your hand a little bit, you're just going to have to wash it off. You see it right here. But it washes off really quick and easy. All right, so the next one we're going to do is the caramel on the other side. So you can compare the two in which you're going to be able to see the color. So if you have any questions while I'm doing this, let me know. And then I'll try to answer them. Anything lace wig related. And did y'all join my giveaway? I have, I have a lace wig giveaway I'm doing end of the month. Tomorrow's the last day. I need for y'all to make sure y'all join. If you haven't seen it, it's a, there's a link in the Facebook group with the giveaway. All right, so this is the caramel, right? You see a difference in color by a lot, right? A lot lighter. You can use it by itself or you can use it a little bit with the uh, blew me away. The only reason why I'm mixing the two is so that the hold on the lace will be a little bit firmer. Okay. All right. So then this is the other side, right? So normally you're going to comb it back, right? And then you're going to put the um, elastic band around it to melt the baby hair. All right. So we're going to comb this back. Oops, I got it all down here. All right. So, I really need an elastic band. All right, so, you don't see that? You can see it, right? All right, so normally I should have had an elastic band. All right, so this side is dry pretty much. I'm going to show you what the difference is between the two sides. Hopefully you can be able to see it. So let's mess with the middle part. So in the middle part right here, we're going to do the mocha. So we're going to put that right in the middle and see what color, how, how we can see it closer in the camera on what the three colors are going to look like. So the mocha I'm going to put right here. I've already put the espresso right here. And then we use the caramel right here. So I'm going to just literally put the mocha in the middle. If you guys have any lace with questions while we're doing that, feel free to ask them. And then that's about it. I'm trying to think of any other questions that I might get that you may ask about the lace melt and mousse. Um, the best thing about that is you can get to the baby hairs and tent the lace at the same time. All right, so this is the mocha. All right, so that's what this one looks like. And I'm going to combine it a little bit with the blue me away. Right, and then that's gonna help me get a little bit of a firmer hold. And then maybe when I get off, I'll, I'll be able to, um, Oops. Christian, if you don't go in the other room, you better. I mean, you can put the mousse in the other areas of the hair. It's not going to do anything, but I just don't use it on the other parts of the hair. If you want to turn the wig inside out and do it, you could, but I mean, ultimately, that's the point of the mousse to make it easier for you while you're doing your lace wig install. So it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. 
you can see it in the um in the camera that you can see how it tinted because it was really white like the towel right and how the colors change all right so i'm gonna just comb this in real quick show you guys what this looked like and then that's it if you got any other questions feel free to drop them in the comments i can always come back and answer them make sure you tag my name on it and then I'll be able to come back and answer your questions. All right, so we just did three different colors. We did the medium brown in the middle, um, which is the mocha color. We did the espresso over here as well. And then we did the caramel. I'm gonna take this off this mannequin head so you can see what it looks like, okay? If y'all cannot see it or if you can see it, let me know. All right. Do you guys see the tint? Now I'm a mocha. So for my complexion, I use mocha. So if you was to wear the wig, can you see that color? Right? That's the, the mocha. Are y'all able to see that? Let me know. Drop your comments if you're able to see it. Now you look at the tip. Look at the tip where the, the end of this closure is, right? Right here. Now you see the difference in the color. If you were to put that same sort of closure on and the tip was the end of the hair, that tip of the lace where I didn't cut off, that's not my color, right? the color is closer to that middle section. Same piece of lace, it's just that one area is tinted and the other area is not, right? Um, so you can see a difference on what the, the, the lace mountain mousse, you know, was able to tint and the area I didn't put any product on where it wasn't able to tint. This part over here is the dark darker um, espresso color. And I'm gonna show you that area as well. And you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more right in front of that lace so you can really get a good um, look of it. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on that section so you'll see where the other part started. All right, got my little towel. All right, so remember, I don't have it at the tip, but I put it near the lace. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my skin tone. All right, so see if I can hold this right. Now, this is the espresso color. I can see it from here. So right here, you see where I added the, the tint of the mousse. Down here, I didn't. And you can see the difference in the two colors. So this is the espresso right here. This is where I did not put anything on there at all. So depending on which color you use, if you was to start with this wig, right, that's already a lighter color, you need to lighten it to this color. You can see the difference without me even cutting the lace or anything. Actually, this, this color is not too bad for me either. I could probably get away with both actually, all right? So the other side is the mocha side. And I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more so you'll be able to see that side as well. All right, this is the last portion of the um, tent. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And hopefully this will help you with your questions and answers with the... Um, let me dry this off a little bit. All right. So, and this is the mocha side. This will probably be a little bit too light for me. But so I'm going to show you guys what this will look like on my skin. This way, right? Right. All right. You see it a little bit right here. 
and, it, and neither one of them is really not blending well with me because I'm not this color. So if I was a little bit lighter, that color would probably work. But because I'm not that color, it's neither, neither this section or this section is, is working for me. So hopefully you're able to see that. Can you guys see that? Let me know if y'all can. Right here. You see how I like that this doesn't, the other, even Espresso looked at, um, that blended even better for me than this color, which I already know I'm not um, caramel. So if y'all can see that, let me know. But you can see the difference right here. And then you can see how the, this color worked a lot better for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this back on here. So you can see it through the, the white towel. And then, got any other questions, feel free. If not, I'm going to take it right on down and um, catch you all on the other side. So, y'all can see right here. Yes, you can see it. Okay, good. Sometimes, you know, y'all not able to see everything. All right, so this is right here. All right. All right, so that's about it. If you guys don't have any other questions, if you're here watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, make sure you guys join my giveaway. It's literally end of this month. I'm going to do the drawing next week. So I want you guys to uh, make sure y'all join because y'all on here and um, you can do as many times as you want. Any Every entry that you do, you're able to um, do certain things to get a certain amount of entries into the giveaway. So the more options you do, the more chances you get to win. It's not unlimited. Some people already had like, like literally like 70 entries already. So make sure you guys join that. I'm going to drop the link again to make sure you guys are able to join. So I am out. Once again, my name is Shamika, the founder of CafuneHair.com. This was just a quick question and answers. Anything lace wigs, of course, and anything lace wigs when it comes to our lace melt and mousse, where we are able to have the different color tints to help you melt your lace, lay those baby hairs, and install your wig in a quicker um, faster and efficient time. So if y'all don't have any questions, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for coming through and you guys have a good night. You're welcome. All right. Peace.